All right, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, today, I wanna do kind of a different kind of video. This is something that I don't think many people talk about and I personally haven't seen like other like videos about this on PokeMMO. So I figured I'd you know go over this quick little article I think it's from late last year, yeah, October last year. Uh, it's by a member from the Pokey MMO forums. I think his name is KOX Live or something like a Cow Live 13, something like that. He's from Brazil. And uh, yeah, basically in the game in the gameplay you're gonna be watching just me shiny hunting for Staryu. Uh, I am prepping for a video that you may have seen already or may will see or will see soon. Not may will see. <laughs> That's not English. Um yeah, the goal of this video is to basically teach you guys not to fall into scams. This is very beginner friendly, okay? So if you're, you know, a veteran Pokemon player, you have all the regions done, you you know, you're you're you know well past everything like this, this video is probably not likely for you, but if you just enjoy the sound of my voice, or if you, you know, just curious if you're gonna learn something, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, supports the channel a good amount. We appreciate that as always. But <clears throat> yeah, let's get started with number one. So the first thing they say is knowledge manipulation. Okay, so again, we're talking about scams in Pokemon Mo. Knowledge manipulation, basically the example they use is that uh, a new player, for instance, will be, you know, flexing a shiny or something like that. Uh, they say like, oh, this is my first shiny ever. I'm like brand new to the game, so blah, blah, blah. And they may not realize like, you know, the GTL exists or something like that. And so, you know, basically if you were trying to scam them, you would say like, oh, shinies are super common, you know, like I'll, I'll trade you for like 600K or something like that. And, you know, a new player will be like, wow, that's such a good deal. That's $600,000. That's, that's a lot of money, you know? And then in reality, maybe that shiny is worth like three mil or something like that. Right. So basically, um, <laughs> yeah, if people are trying to like trade you if you're a new player and people are like you know trading you they're offering you something that sounds like too good to be true or something like that definitely you know commend or like go talk to a second person a second party get a third opinion that kind of stuff um i, I would say like put it in discord put the uh the chat or something like discord or, or put the you know offer or whatever like oh someone's offering me you know like 500,000 for a shiny pincer or something like that. And, you know, a lot of people be like, okay, yeah, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like people will be very quick to defend you because people don't like getting scammed. People are not a fan of, um, you know, other people scamming other people. So yeah, that's what I would say. That's the first thing up, which is just knowledge manipulation and just like taking advantage of new people like that. Um, the next thing up is GTL fishing. So this is basically where people will gain an audience this is kind of less so done now because the like gtl there's so much going on like uh but basically people will like incorrectly list something let's say for 10 minutes or something like that so they lose you know i don't know 50 to a 200k something like that uh because people are sniping them right let's say mysterious like great balls or something like that you pick something like super super niche <clears throat> excuse me you you underlist it for like 10 minutes straight, you know, say it's worth 25K right now, you're listing it for like, I don't know, like, tw like I don't know, 15K or something like that. Something like that. And people eventually are like, okay, hey, someone's like listing this super cheap. Someone doesn't know what they're doing. And someone's like, just people are just watching it, right? People are just trying to snipe it. And then you ask, you put on like, I don't know, 250,000 or something like that for a bunch of them. And people end up buying that because they're like so trained on you, you know, listing under listing that they end up overspending. And then boom, you just made like a lot of money like that. I know that sounds like a, you know, a really smart, cool idea, but it's basically luring people to make a mistake. Um, and it's, it's rude. You know what I mean? Like it may not be intentionally or like, okay, it is intentional, but it may not be like breaking rules per se, but it's just, it's really rude and it's just like manipulative, right? It's just very devious and we don't want a community like that, right? In PokeMMO, we want a community that is honor-based, that trusts each other, things like that. We don't want people in here just, you know, <clears throat> like basically manipulating other people to just like accidentally hit the wrong button or something like that. It's just, it's just rude. It's just unnecessary. We don't need that. And then the third thing here is price manipulation. So uh, this is mainly done on trading and involves GTL as well. So 
let's say there's like 12 vanities, each at, each at about a million. You buy all of them and then you list one on the GTL for about 10 mil and then you sell one in trade chat and you say, hey, you know, it's 10 mil on the GTL. Like I'll sell it to you for like eight or nine mil. And then, you know, once you once he buys it, you cancel it and then sell all of them for the regular price of one mil. That's also super, super devious. Basically, you win your money back and then earn around seven and a half million. It's kind of crazy. You know what I mean? The thing about this is to double check the price. And then there's actually a website, mmohub.com, which can basically tell you the price, the past price of a lot of different um, like items and stuff like that. So I would check that. I would check discords, ask a friend, ask your team, you know, things like that. Again, if you're a brand new player, you probably don't have a team, but be on the lookout for this, right? Uh, a lot of people will, you know, try to do something like that. If you're, if you're, especially if you're new in trade chat, it's easy to get scammed. Uh, people will like just hunt for you. You know, they, they want new players' monies. They want people who don't know what they're doing. Um, so definitely be careful. You know what I mean? Be careful what you're doing. Be careful what you're buying, what you're spending your money on and who you're supporting things like that. Um, yeah, those are the main things about scams and frauds. I just want to say that like you can get banned for this. Okay. There's a lot of people who are like, you know, incorrectly banned and things like that. I've seen it, but there's a lot of people who are justly banned and it's because they are defrauding other people of currency items, resources, and services, basically scamming. They're lying about value. They're, um, intentionally deceiving other people. So obviously don't do it. Okay. Don't just, don't do it. Don't scam people. Don't, uh, real money trade. That's another thing. Don't offer things for real money to real people. Cause like both of you get banned and things like that. Um, don't list things for super cheap and then eventually raise the price. Yeah. You just don't do any of that scumbag stuff. Okay. Anyway, that's basically it. Uh, quick little video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did feel free to leave a like subscribe. If you're new again, appreciate the recent support really do. Uh, I'm gonna let the last minute or so run out here just to, uh, you hit the eight minute mark. Let's let's be real here at YouTube. We're doing a thing here on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to watch it. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And uh, make sure to join the Discord and subscribe if you are new. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace, peace, and peace.